Hi, Church. Church. It's Pastors Jen and Jacob with another digital devotion. Today is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. How special is that? And we feel so blessed to live in such a beautiful part of the world where God's great creation is filled with almost an embarrassment of riches and beauty. We are out in this beautiful sun enjoying a blue sky with big clouds. The weather feels so good. The mountains are in the background. The flowers are blooming, the, the plants are green and thriving, and of course we have our little pig Zuzu grazing behind us. I know a lot of you have asked to see her, so there she is mowing our lawn for free. We hope this day that we can just stop and pause and give gratitude for the simple aspects of the gifts of creation for all of us. The fact that today we can take a breath especially during a pandemic when a disease is making it hard for some to breathe, leading to loss of life. Being able to give gratitude that we have a place to put our head at night on this planet, yeah. especially when sometimes people don't have a permanent place to sleep. And so may you be grateful for every part of creation that gives you life, that we may be able to be in community with one another even in this time because we are connected on the planet that we live on. I wanted to read a little passage from the book of Romans to us today. This is Romans chapter 8, verses 18 to 23. So this is Paul's letter to the first church in Rome. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subject to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it in hope that creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. I love that passage because Paul is talking about this in-between time. For them, it was waiting between when Jesus came the first time to his eventual second coming when all of his kingdom promises will be fulfilled. And I think a lot of us feel like we are also in this period of waiting that all of creation, we feel the connectedness through this pandemic. It's been made really clear to us how we are connected to one another. We are connected to our planet and it's all a very fragile, delicate balance and all of us collectively are calling out in hope and anticipation that all things will be healed and renewed in good time. And so we hope on this Earth Day that you are spending some time outside if possible or at least celebrating the Earth inside and thinking about all of the blessings that God has given us and thinking about the ways that we can continue to be good stewards of that creation together as we wait for the eventual full renewal of all of all things. Please pray with me. God, today we give you thanks for the gift of life to be able to be here on the earth, your creation, to be able to sing praises for all of the gifts we have been given. We ask for your care for all of those who are struggling right now to stay alive. May you provide them with your unsurpassing peace in this moment. Pray this in Christ's name, amen. Amen. If you would like to borrow our lawnmower, we can send her to your house, no charge. <laughs> but a warning, she does not discriminate between grass and other plants, so all things might be mowed. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.